Welcome to part two of our mystery storage locker purchase. If you haven't watched part one, I encourage you to do that so that we're all up to speed and on the same page. We bought an entire storage unit from a, a, a guy that I knew that passed away, but we bought it from his family to help them out. But we had to take everything and we didn't know what it was. <laughs> uh, those are turning plates for wheel alignment. So you uh, put the uh, put the front wheels yeah. on, on each on a plate. And Makes then it easy to sweep the tires left and right, you know? Uh, pretty cool brand new um, hydraulic flaring tool kit, which is pretty cool. You're gonna make all kinds of brake lines and gas fuel lines Intake now? Manifold. This is the one thing I really wanted. It's a, it's a metal bender. You can get different dies for it to bend tubing and, and flat stock and whatnot. So I was pretty excited about that. I need to get something super heavy to bolt it to. It also came with a bead roller. Which is this guy over here? Oh, Tom, um, did you say you needed something super heavy to uh, to bolt that to? Uh, this? I don't. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, we <laughs> can do that. Uh, All right, I'm sorry. I did not yeah, mean to you, interrupt. You know, I uh, ruined your flow. No, All right. No, no. We so. got we got fabrication tools here. We got the bender. We got the bead roller. It's got some dies. It's pretty cool because I actually did not have one of these before. Uh, we got another sawzall, or it's a I guess four-speed case. What's happening? Uh, it is some kind of four-speed case, I'd imagine. The three-speed. It could be a one-speed case if you never shift. Uh, right now, it's a no-speed case. <laughs> got another uh, sawzall, or I guess they're called reciprocating saws in the modern world. Well, that one is in fact a sawzall. Yeah, that's how I know them. <laughs> uh, bearing packer. We'll move along pretty quick here. Well, well, don't move too quickly. I mean, there's a lot happening here. Well, there's a lot. Got there's a, a lot to take in. Welding helmet. We got some side glass that we don't know what it's from. So, what do you what do you think that is? Uh, well, you can't really see with the welding helmet in the yeah, way. Yeah, maybe you should move it. The, oh, there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, two pieces it, of glass there. I don't know, Chevelle maybe. If somebody knows what that is, I will be amazed. <laughs> Somebody's gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> We have smart people. They're not like us. Uh-huh. Uh, Ford GT40 intake from the, I guess, early 90s? Yeah, it's like an Explorer intake. Well, and also the Cobra. But we're I think calling this it is, the Cobra intake. I think this, this, this one's <laughs> off of a uh, Explorer. According to my friend Evan Smith, who knows things uh -huh. about Fords. We got uh, a box of precision tools, sort of precision now, in the, in the fact that they've been through a fire, but they're going to be all right. Uh, these ones, I think, uh, did pretty well. They must have been in some of the lower cabinets. I think you should go through some of these tools because they're cool. Well, this is a height gauge. If you're building precision parts, you'd put this on a surface plate and measure your part. Uh, that's another fixture for something like that. I don't even know what's in these boxes. You're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> uh, parallels for setting up. If you're going to machine something in, in the mill, you put this in the vise to square things up. Or shim as required, whatever. These are uh, wheel cutters. Probably like Bridgeport tooling. Commonly people use these to cut uh, notches in metal. That looks like a standard for a mic. Well, uh, router bits, which I, I, you would not use in metalworking normally, <laughs> but they're in there. This guy's a little dial indicator. Oh, it's so cute. It is a cute one. I'm not going to go all the way in the box, but you get the idea. That, that's basically what the, the bin is. You can uh, tell that Tom likes that stuff because he's kind of he's got a little smile while he's well, playing I'm, with that. I'm happy to have some of it for sure. Yeah. And then uh, we got big block Chevy heads. Uh, they're square port. You can't really tell from that angle, but that's what they are. This is some kind of um, a four-speed overdrive transmission. It says diesel on it. I guess that's a GM uh, style. Let's see, we What's got... the oil pan off of? Uh, looks like a Chevrolet. Looks road racy. Oh, maybe no, it's a Ford. I think it's a Ford pan. It's kind of like a small block Ford. And outside my knowledge base here. <laughs> That's why we're doing this, so that other people help us out. Here's a random photo of a wrecked, um, is that a Nova maybe? 65-ish? I don't know. Transmission parts. We got some, uh, some welding tanks. Pretty good size ones for the home hobbyist. Are we even allowed to have those? Um, uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing like a circular tour. I can do the highlights. This box, I'm not even sure what it is. Miscellaneous. Oh, this is the. Is this a black box recorder? 
I don't know what that is. There. Ooh. I'm sure somebody can tell from that what it is. Yeah, it looks like my Trans Am computer. It's like a computer hard drive or something. It's got a, it's got a hard disk in it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, a chrome plated micrometer. That's how fancy we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like a Moroso distributor cap. Crank shaft, Cali converter. This is one thing I wanted to get. I actually didn't have a good wire wheel uh, device. I like this because it's all vintage looking. It's extra dangerous, so if you get your clothes wrapped up in it, you'll be shirtless in a second. Is that the plan? Uh, <laughs> I think this is a um, like a right angle welding clamp. You can put two pieces of metal in. I could be wrong, that's my guess. This is a uh, some kind of homemade tubing um, straightener. You run the, the pipe back and forth and you adjust tension on it to straighten your tubing. It's actually very well made. And then you put it in the other machine and you bend it again? Yep, if you did it wrong the first time. Electrical tester made by the Christie Company. Wheel balancer. Oh, this thing is cool. So you put the wheel and tire on it and then um, put that handle and then it's supposed to kind of well, with I think the bubble you're to have in it place. On a level surface too. Um, <laughs> well, my invisible wheel is not properly balanced. It needs weight on the left side. I don't know. I'm pretending. Here's a bunch of uh, spindles. Uh, I think General Motors product. The guy thought they were um, early '60s Chevelle. Anybody knows? Let us know. Yeah. Anybody wants them? Let us know. Uh, a 12 bolt housing Chevrolet. See, this is you could shorten this. And then using those brackets, then the box from the other video, you can put it in a smaller car, bigger tires. That's true. Um, what else we got here? Oh, we got uh, like a wiener dog in the box. We got, how, how'd you get in there? You don't belong in there. <laughs> He's like, I like it in there. <laughs> we got this cabinet. Uh, this, all this stuff went through a little garage fire, so the handles melted off of it. But the cabinet's still in pretty good shape. Old AC Delco cabinet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a little bench uh, for like working on a... Yeah, with a porch. <laughs> with a porch. Or a deck, I should call that a deck. Yeah, that's where you put your drink. I'm gonna put a little teak wood on that. Yeah, you just it up sit down, put your beverage there, and then you can stare at the underside of your car and not do any work. Got a uh, horizontal bandsaw, it's pretty cool. You can use it for cutting cans. Um, here's something he made. This I is really cool. I think cool. he made it. Small block Ford, hey Bill, don't do that. Small block Ford uh, intake manifold with the uh, fuel injection added to it. I think it might have been mechanical before, but now it's electronic. Kind of cool. And uh, let's see what's in these boxes. It's like the big unveiling. I know. It's, it's, it's like Al, Al Capone's vault, right? Except maybe there's stuff in them. <laughs> well, this is an air filter. Well, I mean, so imagine if there had been an air filter really in Al Capone's exciting. vault. Brake rotors. This guy. I think that might be an EGR cooler. Does anybody recognize it? I don't know. I guess you can use it for making coffee. Hmm. And, uh, oh, well, great, more lubricant. That's what we needed. <laughs> there we, will we've be... got so much oil now from this guy. <laughs> there will be nothing that is uh, sticky <laughs> or rusty left in our lives. Are these um, for lapping valves? Uh, yeah. Unless you're Steve Belser, so you just use the power drill. Books, random books. I'll just pull one out. Chevelle and El Camino ID codes. All right. I'm getting sort of a theme to some of his interests. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, our, our drug um, We can weigh the gold and see how much we got. Yes, gold. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Pretty cool. How much do the winter dogs weigh? Uh, I think he would exceed the scale capacity. More oil. And it's all rear end oil. Th this guy loved oil. More books. I'll pull one out randomly. What is this? Oh, magazine articles. The transmission rebuilding. Very exciting. This guy, more paint. <laughs> Pontiac, Pontiac blue paint. Good stuff. Oh, Brandon, that's for you. Brandon, we'll give um, this to you. Yeah. Carburetors, exciting. Well, there's a little wooden box. Let's see what this is. Whatever, there's an artifact. <laughs> oh, it's a metal box. Oh, it's a metal box. Wow, I thought it was wood. Really... Look at the little oh, drawers. Oh, that's really cute. They are pretty cute. Carburetor parts, a little bit rusty. 
gaskets. It's a shame all this stuff got waterlogged, but uh, he was pretty organized at one time. It only got waterlogged because it was on fire. Bearings. Some of the stuff is good. All different kinds of bearings. You can never have, you, you, always good to get your bearings. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh, welding, uh, welding stuff. More pictures of the direct. Uh, can you? Is that a Nova? It I guess looks like a Nova from here. Yeah, it's around yeah. a pole. This is um, welding supplies, foot pedals, torch, stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, here's a pretty cool box. Even Bill knows that's a good box. <laughs> this is a uh, probably a piston vise for a mill. Well, brand new valves. Look at that. Measure them up, see what they fit. And then, uh, one more box. One more box. My gosh, where did all these boxes come from? What's in this one? Rivets? Oh, riveting. <laughs> it is indeed rivets. Some more random uh, junk on the bottom. Yeah, but if you needed this. Be stoked that, there that is I somebody, have it. Somebody needs that. For sure. And then uh, in the, the part one video, we had a request for more of this box. This had a, uh, a bunch of GT40 stuff in it. And specifically, they wanted to know what was in the envelope. So I'll briefly pull it out. And see. That was some photos. GT40 photos. Pretty cool car. Uh, the guy that owned all this built a replica GT40, so that's why he has all the stuff like this. And, uh, you know, tail lights, clutch and brake reservoirs, pretty cool stuff. We'll have to get a GT40 to put all this in. Absolutely. The dog is running off with the GT40 photo. Yeah, he yeah. knows what's good. So, it's pretty, pretty good stuff overall. You know? Anyway, yeah, that's. There's this is what we've done with our lives uh, during quarantine, is we've just, we've made them uh, messier. Yeah, we needed a few things and we got the rest of it because we took all of it, but yeah, come to the Chrysler show in the fall and I'll have a lot of it for sale. <laughs> yeah, or you know, I mean, if there was something in particular that you want us to list on eBay, we'll, we'll do that. Or if you know what it is. Let us know. Yeah, just tell us, give us your information in the comments and if there's something that you want out of here, um, send us a message on Instagram or, you know, check back with us. We'll list it on eBay for you. All right. There you go. Say goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye, Jerry. All right.